The grill is hot, the drinks are cold, the alumni are back in town. Get in line for the parade. It is homecoming weekend here at Middle Tennessee and alongside Alex Myers. I'm Jake Rose. You are watching Conference USA football right here on ESPN3. And Alex, we've got a very good and a very important Conference USA matchup for the folks at home today as the 49ers of Charlotte come to Murfreesboro to take on the Blue Raiders looking for their first win in this series. They are currently 0-3 against the Blue Raiders. You can see there a 14-point loss last year in Charlotte. Both of these teams come into this game with matching 3-3 records. They also have identical 2-1 conference records trying to keep up with the Panthers of FIU in that Eastern Conference. And speaking of the Panthers of FIU, Middle Tennessee went down to Miami last weekend and were defeated by FIU and it was a tougher loss than usual because they lost their starting quarterback Brent Stockstill. They did and a guy named Asher O'Hara had to come in and was the backup and actually Jake he did a pretty good job. He's had to play uh, throughout his career from time to time and he did a good job last week. He actually did a really good job with his legs. He's a guy that can hurt you either way. So if he's the one that plays today Middle Tennessee will be okay. But Jake make no mistake about it. The fans the coaching staff everyone here has made it clear that if Brent Stockstill is able physically to go he'll be the starter today. He, he brings a boost to this offense that no one else on the roster can. Right. We will not know who the starter for Middle Tennessee is until the Blue Raiders take that first snap. But we do know who the starter for the 49ers is going to be today. It is going to be Evan Sheriffs. It will be. And he's not your average backup that comes in out of an injury midseason. He's a guy who came in from an ACC school, Miami, uh, late in the summer. He transferred in here as a grad transfer. He's got two years left of eligibility. But man, he can absolutely sling the ball around the field. He can make every throw at that 6'5", 210 frame. He's an exciting player to watch. He can throw it short, he can throw it long. I'm excited, the coaching staff's excited to see what this Charlotte offense will look like with Sheriffs at the helm. Yeah, Sheriffs led the 49ers to a big win last weekend at home, their own homecoming against the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. And for more on the grad transfer from Miami, let's send it down to the third member of our crew, Sarah Cardona. Sarah. But of all the things he does well, I really like his vision. You saw it there, being patient and then finding the hole. See there the impact players for Middle Tennessee's defense. They are loaded at the linebacker spot with Khalil Brooks and DQ Thomas. Those are the playmakers for the Blue Raiders. Third and short. LeMay right side. He's got room. Oh, he needs to beat his one tackle, and he does. Benny LeMay going to take it the distance on the opening drive for the 49ers. Touchdown, Charlotte. Kylan Stribling filling in for Javante Moffitt here in the first half. Moffitt suspended after a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit in the second half against FIU. Sheriffs is going to be swallowed up in the backfield. Darius Harris from the middle linebacker spot picks up his fourth sack on the season, and the 49ers are going to be forced to punt yet again. Yeah, this is a guy, as a defense, you know, you'd think this would be an easy play to defend, but not, not really. Jeff Gimmel and Timmy Horn in on the stop as well. Quick pass to Ty Lee near side, diving for the pylon. Did he get there? He did. All 5'8 of Ty Lee just made it across the pylon. And that's his second touchdown reception today, his second on the year takes in the risks. You've got to get him in situations where it's very manageable, where you can keep the defense at bay. Third and six in the shadows. Sheriffs looks to pass. He's going to be brought down, sacked. Trey Philpotts. Freshman Jonathan Cruz has been pretty good so far this year, 10 of 13, but he has been very good from beyond 40. This one's from 48. Snap is good, kick is up, and he pushed it left. No good. So a big stop for the Blue Raiders on fourth down as Cruz pushes the 48-yard attempt left. And that's a big win for that Blue Raider defense. Both of these teams, I have a feeling if things stick away around the way they are, they're going to go into half going, you know, we could have played a lot better. But still, both of these teams, obviously Charlotte winning, but Middle Tennessee, as poorly as they've played, they're one play away from, from leading this ball game. So if you're stock still, though, I still like trying to get some early passes, quick passes going. Thomas up the middle. And that missed 48-yard field goal is actually the first 
missed field goal beyond 40 yards that Cruz has attempted this season. He was perfect, three, three of three from beyond 40. He's actually perfect from beyond 50 as well, two of two. Second and seven from the Blue Raider 34. Tight package for middle. Toss right to Thomas, and Gimmel's right there to wrap him up. Just not a lot of room to run. You mentioned this is one of the best uh, top run defenses really in the nation on yard in yards per game. And uh, you know, this Charlotte defense has not changed anything up this week. They've been very good uh, against the run so far. And they're in the, what they're what they're doing here is they're forcing the hand on Brent Stockstill. He's not as mobile. He's got to get rid of it quicker. And when you're in third and long situations like this, you can bring the blitz. I don't know if they're going to do it here, though. Well, actually, I think they're going to jump a little bit early. Timmy Horn, a little over aggressive before the snap. But that's what I'm talking about, though. When All you get in a situation like defense, that. Defense number 98 with contact. Five yard penalty. And that'll bring it to third, third and a much more manageable one yard for the Blue Raiders. Yeah, because now the run is an option. It's a viable option right here. And if you're a defensive lineman, you've got to contain. You can't just pin your ear back and try to get a sack. You've got to protect the gaps in case they run it. Four down for the 49ers in their nickel package. Quick pass near side. Patrick Smith's going to have the first down, it looks like. Yes, move the chains for the Blue Raiders. They needed about two yards to get the first down, and they didn't get much more than that, but they did get a first down. And that's what I'm talking about. Quick hitters like that, get it to your playmakers in space, and help your quarterback out. I like that play call on third and short. Just the second first down here in the first half for the Blue Raiders. Stock still going to keep it himself on the draw play. He's got a little bit of room across the 50. Close to another Blue Raider first down, and Stock still surely not 100% today, but a nice run from the senior. Yeah, it looked pretty good. It's the best he's looked all ball game as far as his mobility is concerned. Moves the chains, and all of a sudden, this offense that a lot of times uses tempo to its advantage can really start to get into a rhythm. And give the Raiders another first down on back to back play. Stock still looking downfield. Got Ty Lee, and he has popped at the 31 yard line, but he held on to it. And actually, a very clean hit over the middle by Marcavis Gibbs, the junior from West Palm Beach. So, three straight plays for the Blue Raiders with first downs, and they are moving down the field. They're going to go Terrell West, and he's going to be hit and dropped inside the 30-yard line by the reigning Conference USA Defensive Player of the Week, Jawan Foggy. Looks like West is going to take a breather, and back will come the starter, Tavares Thomas. Let's see what they try to do here. Second and long. I think if you're Middle Tennessee, you've got to continue to do what you've done and had success with. Don't get greedy here on second down. Raiders now taking their time. As Stock still looks to the sideline for the play call. Play action. Looking downfield, going for the end zone, looking for Ty Lee. Did he catch it? What a grab by Ty Lee. His first touchdown catch of the season is a beauty. And what a throw from Stock still. Stock still put it. The only place to but at the end of the day, you can't turn the ball over against an offense with veteran leadership like Brent Stock still back there. So the final kneel down will do it. And Middle Tennessee moves to four and three and three and one in conference play with a 21 to 13 victory over the Charlotte 49ers here at homecoming weekend in Murfreesboro. Charlotte now drops below 500. They move to three and four. They are two and two in conference. Jake. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Coach Stockstill. And I know Coach wants to figure out how to run the ball. 33 yards rushing for his team today. But I know he will definitely take a 21 to 13 victory on homecoming weekend against the 49ers. That is career victory number 83 for Rick Stockstill. For Sarah Cardona and Alex Myers, I'm Jake Rose saying so long from Murfreesboro. This has been a product of ESPN. To watch this game and other ESPN games, please check out the ESPN app. From Murfreesboro, so long.